right, Dossie, here we go. We're back in Brisbane for our second interview of the day and we are with the king of dark humour. So I don't know how dark this could get or how funny. Look at him, he's already flexing. Julian Woods, welcome to the Dawson D Show. Kids. <laughs> there we go. We've already, and we've already been demonetised. Thanks, Julian, for that. <laughs> Straight off the bat. What, what, what flavour you got there, the iced tea, actually? Uh, tropical passion fruit. I'd never seen it Neither. before. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to get it. Yeah. So I did. Looks nice. Well done, mate. It is very nice. We, uh, we're going to bounce around a lot in this potty, and I don't know where it'll go, where it'll end up. We'll soon find out. But we're very <laughs> interested in, in your good self. But at the moment, tell us about a day in the life of Julian Woods. What does it look like? Because we see a lot on social media. There's a lot of glitz and glamour sometimes, mm. too. We also see the other side. But uh, what, what does a day in the life look like? Do you want the monetized version or the demonetized <laughs> version? We're, we're demonetized anyway, so go for it. Nah, um, I don't know. A day for me is just like waking up. Choking the chicken, having a shower, uh, figuring out what I'm going to film for the day or if I'm filming with someone else, filming that, choking the chicken again, <laughs> eating breakfast. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It changes, man. Like it depends like like at the moment I'm working with Marty and Michael and we're yep. doing like our, our website stuff. So it's just filming a bunch of what would be considered scat porn or like – um just violence, like blunt force trauma, um, just doing that sort of stuff at the moment. And then if I'm not doing that, I'm doing my own stuff or doing stand up. I don't know. I'm like a weird mix at the moment. I, mm. I couldn't tell you what a day in the life of me right now is because it's changing no, every day. That's what we like to hear. Yeah. Do people probably, I don't know about your, your parents, but a lot of our, like, well, let's say our parents, the way, some of us live like you. You do certain things. You do it a different way. Yeah. So you don't have a nine to five. You don't no. have a normal job. Uh, yeah, I, I sort of do have like a normal job. Like my normal job's not like a nine to five. It, it's it's just filming yeah. videos. Like uh, like that's what I mean. It, it changes. Like I, I have a um, week by week pay. Yep. For doing a certain thing, but that certain thing changes. Different. But like I still get paid. Yeah. So it, I I don't know. It's it's confusing. <laughs> well, we love talking to content creators, but you guys up here in this space, especially the Gold Coast, that for in terms of Australian content creation, this seems to be the place to be. So where mm -hmm. all the biggest creators are, and we're going to jump around a little bit, but we don't normally go, you know, tell us your story and where'd you grow up and all that kind of stuff. But we d we are interested to hear your rise up as well and how you've got to where you are today and where you're going. But you mentioned Marty and Michael. What is your current role? Because I don't think many people would know. My current role? At with, Marty and Michael. At Marty and Michael, I can tell you. It's on my email uh, <laughs> footer. Yeah. Well, we did email you at the Marty and Michael email address. Yeah. Oh, well, you might have got it. I think it's content creator slash head of filming and editing. There you so. go. Okay. So you... Jack of all trades, I'd Jack say. Of all and then trades, I'm sure plenty are more them. in between that as well. You're not oh, just yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, no, there's heaps like cleaning shit off floors. <laughs> yeah. um, Apprentice. Super gluing, super gluing asses together. <laughs> yeah, cleaning yeah. Michael's toenails. <laughs> heaps of stuff. Collecting hairs. So if anyone um, wants to sign up at home to be uh, after Julian, that's what, you, that's oh, what you're looking at. Yeah. yeah. What? This is going to sound like a really, really boring question, but like <laughs> did you ever think that you'd be able to do this full time because the way that you get to <laughs> <laughs> the, way you, the, the lifestyle you get to live and, the, and just what you've created with the people around you, like, did you ever think you'd be able to, like, cause social media probably only really became this huge thing only in the last 10 yeah, years. Yeah. No, I didn't really like when I first started making videos, like in 2013, 2014, I was just uploading them to Facebook just to be like, just to have a laugh and then like getting the little ego boost of going to school or like, even into the city here and people being like, oh, Julian Woods, like saying like <laughs> lines from a weird video I'd yeah. put out when I was like 16, 17. And like they were getting like big views, like 20 million views all that wow. way back then. And like I think the term for it back then was like Facebook famous sort of shit. There was no money in yeah. it. So I never really thought that I'd be making money. And like if you told me back then that I'd be doing this now, I'd be like, oh, well, what, what the fuck changed? Because like you just couldn't. Like I couldn't see other than like maybe a brand deal, but they didn't even exist back then. Like when Jackson and uh, Shami started posting their like prank videos and they were getting heaps of things, I was like, oh, they must be really popular, not knowing that they were getting paid because like I didn't even know monetization was a thing. Mm. But then like slowly came to learn that it was a thing and that I'd wasted many years doing it for free when I could have been monetizing it. But like So how could you have been monetizing then? Is it is it uh, literally it, just flicking ads on or Yeah, well it's just flicking ads on. Like I was uploading to my personal page. I wasn't yeah. like making like an actual 
like page. Yeah. Like that wasn't my personal Facebook. Yeah. And then doing that because I was just a kid who had no prior guidance. Like they were like getting hit up by people overseas, getting like advice that I just didn't have. And then like, but that uh, free Facebook shit was what ended up getting me like hired by Jackson because he saw that I was doing like funny stuff online and then knew just from like one of his exes that I could film and stuff and was like, oh, let's get that kid to be filming our stuff. Yeah, okay. So then I could like input with comedy but then input with like uh, production value. And and you're not either. Like let's remember everyone listening. Like it's not like you're, you're – when they say, oh, come film us, it's not an iPhone, you know, come – like you, you've been to – yeah, you've, yeah. Edu- you've done this all your life. You went through yeah, school, yeah, learnt filming and yeah, everything. Yeah, I topped the Queensland School of Film and TV. So I've, like, I've always had a knack for like filming and stuff. Like I started filming down at like skate parks when I was like 10. Fuck, my voice sounds so raspy. Sorry to everybody It's very listening. sexy. It's, 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 sexy. it's, not meant, it's not usually this sexy. It's just because <laughs> Sean O'Malley won the Bantamweight <laughs> Championship and I was on a three-day bender. So I lost <laughs> my voice instantly. But um, what were we talking about again? What were we talking about? <laughs> No, um, How you went? Well, you went to, like. Yeah, I went pe- to people think you just pe- pick up an yeah, iPhone. Yeah, it, you wasn't, don't. it wasn't just picking yeah. up an iPhone. Like even back then, in high school, I was filming on like DSLR cameras and all that, doing like sort of like higher production skits than like the the average just picking up a phone, being like. Bleh, bleh, bleh. But like, um, there's office people looking I at know, us. I know. I know. Oh, I want to, I want a slice of his cake. Look at the tight fitted. <laughs> I did off. when I when I heard you say the word bukkake earlier. I thought, oh no, wait till someone else. <laughs> <laughs> we tight fitted it, soup. What are people thinking? We talked about earlier. It's funny because we uh, we we never used this space before. We actually have a normal Brisbane studio, which we couldn't get today, which yeah, is a bit yeah. frustrating. But anyway, we we came to this space. We won't name where it is, and uh, the beautiful lady at reception just said, you know. Like, just remember, this is a co-working space. There's people around. We said, no, we'll be quiet. Yeah, and so it's uh, not like soundproof. No, it's not. It's not our normal shit, but you know what? I so she care. can probably hear me. No, we've paid the money. It's paid in advance okay. that, you know, as long yeah. as we don't ruin anything. Because <laughs> um, when I was coming here, I was like looking on the maps and I was like, is this it? And I looked up and it was the bank of the China. National- and I was like, these guys have cash. <laughs> <laughs> they have cash. <laughs> We're doing it in the vault. Yeah, the no, vault. not quite. But, uh, but going so, uh, and again, I know we're not going to, completely go through your trajectory of your of your life story but in terms of you mentioned jackson o'doherty right so and the value that you bring to those guys and marty michael so you you was telling us off air when you first started working with them they were doing everything pretty much off the smell of an oily rag yeah yeah, yeah. Um, they were able <laughs> <laughs> but they were able Worse, yeah but, but and we we understand because we, we you know we have that mentality if we can pay someone to help us and, and up the production we'll pay them before we yeah, of course. sometimes pay ourselves but like Obviously, well, I don't think I'm worried about you being humble in this moment, but your input on that, how far do you think you've helped to grow them to where um, they are now? Jackson, I don't know. I can't, I can't really say because he... He just, got, he got he, his he, cock out on OnlyFans, yeah. yeah, yeah no, no, well, before that, like with his... He was making vlogs and I think he, his name just had a strong wood, like, like yeah. upwards trajectory regardless. But I think like me driving him in like let's do this let's do that sort of gave him sort of like the idea of oh i can be doing this with videos yeah whereas with marty and michael yeah they were just like it was this iphone 6 quality (laughs) videos of them like throwing human shit at each other (laughs) and like i remember when because like i I was working with jackson then he had to go overseas and then because of other stuff I, i wasn't allowed to go overseas so then um when Marty and Michael hit me up, we're like, oh, just like trying to poach me off Jackson. Well, it wasn't really poaching. It was just sort of like he's not working with Jackson anymore. Let's get him on board. Yeah. And then um, like when they called me up, I was like, oh, do I really want to do this? And then like they were, it was like during uh, the pandemic. So I'm like, oh, fuck it. I've got nothing else other than just getting free Centrelink money. Just like bumming <laughs> off the government for nothing at home. So I was like went in and I remember that like because they had a film up, but he – uh, this guy called Connor from a channel called Cracker Milk. They do like really funny skits and I think they've got a couple hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube now. But like back then it was only just picking up for him so he wanted to put more of his time into like making their own videos, yeah. you know, like investing in himself. So then they were like getting rid of him, wanted to bring me on. And I remember the first day I had to go like watch what they did just to get used to the job was I walked in to this shitty, absolute dirt, cesspool fucking shithole of a townhouse. <laughs> just the worst thing you'd ever seen. Just like shit all over the floor, like maggots, flies, oh, wait, dog and, they're, and they're living here. 
they were living here. There was like three of them. Jackson O'Doherty was living in that place at one point. Like when he came back from America, he had nowhere to live. So he was just like sharing a room, like just like Dorito dust on mattress, <laughs> no sheets, just the grossest place you'd ever seen. And I walked in and Michael's painted blue. And he's and Connor, the filmer's there, like filming on an iPhone. I'm like, what is this? Michael's painted blue going, I'm blue, I'm blue, I do a poo. And then <laughs> shat all over the floor and then just slapped it all over his face, all over the walls. And then they're like, oh, oh hey, Julian. And I was like, oh, okay, this is my first day at my new job. This is, and then I remember my first... Don't like, get that at the bank, yeah. But like that, they had only just started making money at this point because I remember when they were like start booming on Facebook, they'd be like, oi, boys, since we've been to lunch, look how much money we've made. Just like, because they weren't used to money, yeah. any money at all, because they were like Uber driver tennis coaches. Like <laughs> yeah, they were yeah, making right. like hundreds of dollars a week. That's it. Like between two of them, like yeah. living on floors and shit. So then like <laughs> they weren't used to like making money. Oh, fuck, man. But it's like, it's like no, no offense to those, like obviously not, not offense to them, but, but when you'd see their videos at that, around that time, they've still got this massive following, but you look at guys like, say, Shami or Jackson O'Doherty, mm. similar kind of space, similar area, they're living in these, well, mansions or these yeah, unbelievable yeah, yeah. places. And you see Marty and Michael's house, and it's exactly yeah, well, what you just... Ha- three quarters of our money is spent on cleaning up shit. Yeah. We just bought, like, <laughs> Jim's cleanings coming in to fucking wipe shit yeah. off the floor. Like, we used we to need to, to disinfect it. the whole joint. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, fucking how much for 30,000 litres of disinfectant? Oh, 100 grand, there you go, mate. Sorry, there's our pay. But, like, um, yeah, I forget where I was going with the fucking... Wait, what I, I, oh, no, no, th- this is the cool thing. So that they had just... Like only just started making money, didn't not really know where to put it. They were investing it in themselves with like making a website, getting servers and all that, but yep. not really like on the face value, like where you'd see like a house or like cameras or anything. But I remember my first desk where I would edit was this old wonky table and my chair was a wheelchair they used as a prop. No shit. And I came from like working with Jackson O'Doherty who was living in like a penthouse apartment like fucking nice this, nice that. Yeah, nice stand-up desk, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. nice stand-up yeah. desk that moved. Yeah. Yeah. Treadmill. Like, yeah. 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 yeah, And then like I go to Marty and Michael's shithole townhouse in the middle of Northside Brisbane. Like there's like break-ins like here, there, next door, everywhere. Shithole. And then my desk, there's probably a photo somewhere where it's just like a quarter of the size of this, one leg was shorter than the other. <laughs> there was dips in it, probably human shit on the actual desk. And then my chair was like a broken wheelchair. I mean, my chair was a broken wheelchair. And then... Um, what I'm gathering is there's just so much feces involved in this Yeah, that, 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 that no, seems to be that, the That's the thing. We're like, when we're filming website videos, we'll be like, all right, let's do this really funny idea. Like, this is the, <laughs> this is the thing for the skit. And then we'll like get along with it. And then we're like, oh, we've got to do something at the end. And we're like, let's just shit. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the cheapest form of humour, but yeah, it works. No, dude, Anything works. fart and pooing. Right? Yeah. But you know what? It makes the fans Michael's, happy. Michael's so good with it. And then at the end, we're like standing there like laughing as we do it and then like the cameras turn off and then we're like oh i feel shame <laughs> like oh sh- should we put this out like we're my mom's it. gonna see like, this we, yeah we yeah. did this last week like <laughs> did we really just do it again and then like in our members group on facebook it'd just be like another shit video are you serious like this is disgusting i signed up for pain and humor and all you're doing is like throwing poo at each other like monkeys and we're like yeah it's funny <laughs> How much would uh, how much how like you don't have to answer, but how how much does it take to invest in a video? Like say a, ja- a Jackson or now a Marty and Michael and the money they're earning. Like oh, ja- Jackson sometimes will, he throws ridiculous things into money, but like at the same time he doesn't like um, he doesn't plan on it either. I think Lockie just will prank him and be like, oh yeah, by the way, it costs like five grand to get this done. Yeah, and Jackson's like. Oh, you've just fucked up my house and yeah. I've got to pay five grand now. <laughs> Great. Like, but like, I think that's just a, hello. <laughs> just business people walking past for all the people just listening. Yeah, or watching, yeah. He's wearing jean shorts in an office building. That's a bit. And they're three quarters as well. Yeah. And you don't say that often. Well, well, Julian said stand out. Yeah, 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 stand, <laughs> yeah stand out. Stand, stand out. out. Do, do something. Be memorable. Um, but with Marty and Michael, our website videos, some of them will cost like 20 bucks and it'll just be like a costume from like some costume thing of us wearing like a Batman and Robin mask and then we shit on the ground. But then like others will be like, we'll buy like a hundred di- dishwashers, I mean washing machines or something and they'll cost like a couple hundred bucks each and then we'll see if we can like 
make an earthquake with, you know, just weird signs yeah, yeah. and yeah. shit like that. And then, and then like, shit. Yeah, and then, and then, and then we'll shit and then we'll on shit the washing in them. machines after. <laughs> but, like, yeah, they'll, they'll just be stuff and we'll be like, this is so funny and we'll have a vision for it. And then we're like, oh, shit, we've just racked up three grand just at this yeah. one store. We've got to go do this. But then we're like, okay, we'll just have to, like, make sure we do this next week or, like... Only do poo. so. It doesn't sound like there's like before every video. It's all right. Here's a spreadsheet, lads. Yeah. No, nah, this yeah. is a budget. It, it, is it? It is sort of now. So yeah. like now we're like, um, they're getting a lot more professional. Okay. Because now it's been like years where they've like started earning money and they're not like oh, okay, let's just like shit on the ground and clean it. Now they're like, we've um we've hired this guy James who was like one of the boys' best mates, uh, growing up and he was a school teacher and but he's like this jacked like superhuman dude and he used to come into the videos and just peg videos at uh not peg videos peg like fruit at the boys hurt them and all that but we'd have to blur his face because he's a teacher and then um <laughs> due to like some things behind the scenes with his job nothing bad that sounds like he was like <laughs> touching kids or something no but like Blur the man's face. something happened he was like i want to change jobs um and then we were like oh we'll hire you and like match your salary just come work for us because he's just like he just you know those people that just like know everything and you're just like they don't have to be like a genius but you're like oh how do you know how to do that 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 and that and then he came on and now he's just like our manager and we'll like take his teaching expertise and like just like you know paperwork stuff and now we'll like rock up on a monday and it'll be like filming schedule like we've got like whiteboards in our office now i don't yeah. have a wheelchair for a chair <laughs> anymore you've upgraded like he, he's just like coming and made it a lot more professional. And now we're starting for our website, like hiring new creators. So we're trying to make like a Netflix of fucked up shit. So it's like, instead of it just being us, it'd be like me, Marty and Michael. Uh, we've just hired uh, Zach Ass, who was in Jackass 4, like the big dude in the new oh, yeah, Jackass. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And then this guy, Kyle Vic, who he just had this like massively huge viral video of him jumping off like a five-story building into a tree. The oh tree just God. snapping and him get, just like getting impaled on a fence. And then, like, oh, my he, God. And then we're like paying the money and like they're sending videos over. Oh, my God. And like God. We, we thought we were doing crazy stuff. And like, the, <laughs> like me and Marty were laughing. Like the other day we like pulled up. His uh, our work van next to the trampoline and put like rat traps on the trampoline and the, the, from the van to the trampoline is probably only like a meter. Like I would have done it easy, but in his head, he's like for some reason. Like I thought he would do it easy. He was like freaking out. He's like because of the height. Because of the height, it's like a meter. Like I think it's just because like they they're getting married now. They've got like step kids. They're about to have kids. All this sort of stuff. They're like sort of thinking about their <laughs> yeah, own mortality. Actually, thinking about the future. <laughs> but then yeah. but then Kylovic and all these American dudes who are sending in videos for our new website we'll send over videos of them like giving their friends three quarters of their body in like third degree burns and then putting oh their God. friends into comas for three weeks and then that, that, their friend woke up after uh, being in a coma for three weeks and was like oh my mom's gonna kill me and you're like no worry and we're yeah. like oh let's not jump off a trampoline and so it's like made us want to do more shit but then at the same time we'll probably end up being like oh let's be like them and die because like there's only a certain breed of stupid who can get away with doing stuff like that well oh, this has opened up a whole can of worms for me too and i'm looking forward to diving into some of the probably the more famous pranks we've seen over mm. the over the journey and most of the audience has too but um before we do where, where's your tolerance in terms of like what is like maybe your worst day at, on the job where you've gone, why am I doing this? Like either they've pulled a prank on you and you've gone, fuck, like why am I doing this? Or something disgusting or um, physical it's impalment. N- like the smell of I, shit 24-7 uh, would do couple, it for me. No, I, think, cu- I think he's, oh yeah, for <laughs> me There's too. a couple things that make me think, why am I doing this? Like the one, the first one I can sort of remember was, it was like two houses ago with Marty Mock because we've got a place now and I think we're about to get kicked out of it again. But like two houses ago, <laughs> no surprise. we're at Michael's house at the, at the end. It was just the biggest shithole house as well. He's lived in some shitholes and he thought it was like his dream house. It was like this single level brick shithole with no air con, like chandeliers that hung like like you'd headbutt them. Like just like the, the front yard looked like a junkyard. But I remember they were like, they, they messaged me the night before and were like, oh, Michael's swallowed like I think $10 worth of five cent coins and we're trying to make the world's first magnetic shit. He was like, you need to get in early. <laughs> another to- another food yeah, joke. Yeah, yeah, but he, yeah. he's like, you know, <laughs> there actually is so much shit. But he's like, you need to get in real early, Julian, because like he, he wakes up and shits in the morning so you need to like get there early. So I'm like, 
Like I'm a late riser. I, I like getting up at around 10 a.m. usually if I don't have work. And um, I've woken up at like 7.30 in the morning, which I haven't done since I've either been in court or at school. <laughs> so I'm like, fuck this. And then like like driving there and then Marty's there like pulling up and then like Michael's like, quick, quick, quick. And I've like got the camera out. And I'd never filmed like shit at this point. Like we'd done like s- – Gross things like vomiting and stuff, but never like a big old turd. And I'm there like he's laid down alpha oil and I'm there with the camera and he's just done the biggest steamer you'd ever seen. <laughs> steamer. And then he's like, Julian, get a close-up, get a, get a close-up. And I'm there because I've got a real bad gag reflex. So I'm there like, Ugh, like sounding like a T-Rex. And then like he's like, dig through it. And then Michael starts <gasps> digging through his shit with his bare hands. And I'm there like gagging my like just like eyes watering vomit dripping out of my lips and then i'm like looking and i'm like there's no coins and he goes oh we just wanted you to film me shit (laughs) there was no like coins or anything and i was like these guys woke me up and like not even for a video just wanted to make me film michael shit for no reason just to have a laugh at me is there like a thing that happens like regularly that's just annoying so like yeah, there's a well, prank that just just pisses you off like maybe um, every the, morning the pranks don't usually piss me off too much because like now like yeah i just like get joy out of like kicking michael in the shins or something <laughs> the things that annoy me is when i'm like if, if we're doing like because everybody would be like oh this is the best job in the world but when it's like really repetitive mm. like when we do like pain videos like we have like this thing called the markel pain scale and we just like go do different like like the, the fans love it, but like I've filmed like three hundred of those videos. Yeah, okay. So I'm just like a rock up, and I'm like, oh. And are they the ones that are, it's just back and forth? Your turn, my turn. Your turn, my yeah, turn. Yeah, yeah. On the yeah, on the web, yeah. it'll be like which k- kitchen item hurts yeah. the most, and they'll just be like bashing it's very repetitive, each other. But it's, it, it's, it's repetitive, hilarious. and the, fa- the fans love it. But if you're filming it, like I'm not the one viewing it for the first time. Yeah. Like the fans are, you know. Like I have to sit there and edit it for like five days straight. So I'm like, oh, over this. And then next week they're like, oh, we're doing which bathroom item hurts the most. I'm like, <laughs> we're, we're like 10 weeks ahead yeah. of content. So yeah. they're not all coming out back yeah. to back. Yeah. But for me, sometimes I have to film them three weeks in a row back to back and I'm like, I fucking hate it. But the thing that's, okay, I just remember the thing that made me hate working for them the most it wasn't during fil- during filming this thing. We were like, this is hilarious. And then even when I'm editing it, like I was like bragging to my missus at the time being like, we just did this. And it wasn't until it was out, then I realised the repercussions. But it was whether pineapple makes you come sweeter. And um, oh. Marty, Marty um, did the shot not, was like, yeah, nose game, I'm not doing it. And then I was like, oh, what? And then Michael was like, I'll do it if... You do it, Julian. And pretty much like we, we were like in Bunnings trying to figure out a video for the day. And then we were like looking through the list and it was like, pineapple sweeter. Oh, true. Julian, you're doing it. And I was like, oh, no. And then like Marty pulled out. So then Michael was like, if you do it, I'll do it. So I was like, okay. So then oh, this was oh. like, this was a Monday after I'd just been on like a fucking, uh, like I was scattered like loose change in a U tray, bro. I was so fucking twisted after just like, Doing such harmful, harmful things to my body, eating like shit all weekend. So I've gone and like I've got like little medicine cup things, oh my and God. I've just done the the most vile load oh. into this thing. Like look normal, but you could just tell just by looking at it. Had, it, had a tinge of green in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah a little like <laughs> you're like, oh, is 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 just meant to be the color of a peach? I don't know, but like I was like, oh god, and then we like put it in the fridge. And then <laughs> refrigerating we, it and to make we, it just taste a bit better. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but, uh, but just because we had to like eat like cans of pineapple, like fresh pineapple, pineapple juice. I think I drank nine liters of pineapple juice overnight though, because we wanted to make it like a real thing. And then we've come the next, literally the next day to work, and like having a camera on you while you're like trying to, you know, choke the pope is a bit hard. <laughs> choke the pope. So it's like you're like, oh god, and then like finally you do it. And then all of a sudden we're sitting on this couch. I've got like a cold sample and then a warm, fresh sample. <laughs> oh. And I was like praying to God that Michael had not switched the samples around because if I had... So you're having your own. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're having, I would never in a million years. <laughs> <laughs> that's... No, nah, that's... Oh, that's yucky, bro. Oh, yeah, that's Someone yucky. else's. Nah. <laughs> But um, but then um, I've never heard anything quite like this. Yeah, and then I did not expect it. The first one of like like the cold one of like 
Michael was like full drinking his. I was like, there's <laughs> no chance. He's licking every drop. He, he, yeah, <laughs> even if it was on a subscription <laughs> website, there's no chance that I'm getting any screen clip ever of me going, oh, bottoms up, fellas. <laughs> like I was just like, cheers. Like just like really like hesitantly just. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That actually oh, makes me a bit sick. And then just gagging at me like, oh, yuck, yuck, yuck. But then like in my head being like, oh, that was That's that sweet. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, yuck. And then Michael was like, mm, oh. And then like he's spitting it out and it's like dripping from his chin and I'm like, oh, man. So what was the verdict? And then, but then I've had this sweet one and it's like warm and I'm like, oh, bro, like, oh, God. Oh, and then can't. we're like, bottoms up, Mickey. And then I've like shot at it a bit, but I'm like, Mm. And you see it in my face. It was so much better. Really? But I spat it out anyway because I'm not like that. Not at all. <laughs> I'm not like I'm that. I'm not like that. But then Michael's like swallowed his and we're like <laughs> screaming like, what the hell? So what it the actually hell? worked. Actually works. So Colin Jackio put it on their show like only recently. And it happened like two years ago. So it's like brought this up. This video? They like brought it up. But the thing was when it came out, I was like, this is so funny. I'm like telling my missus at the time about it being like, yeah. And she's just like, uh, okay. <laughs> but then the worst thing was I'm in this group chat with like these rappers like Cursor, JD and Complete. And I sent it to them and I'm like, oh, please check this out. And then instantly my years of street cred had just gone. <laughs> yeah. Cause I thought, cause they always loved seeing all the videos that we do. Cause like I used to like film videos for, like before I did comedy, I was like doing music videos for like hip hop artists and shit. So then, like, I'm still mates with all of them. And I'm the like, boys Wait. in the hood did yeah. not approve. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, not at all. And surely did not. But I'm like, oh, boys, here's us doing this crazy shit. And they're like, nuts. Nah. And I'm like, here's me drinking my own jizz after drinking pineapple juice. They're like, nah. And then, like, just got picked on every day. I won't even repeat the, uh, the phrases I got called. But, oh. like, for years. Still to this day, I'll, like, say something. I'll be like... I'll win a multi on sports bet and they'll lose theirs. They'll be like, oh, you suck shit, boys. They'll be like, all right, come drink out. And I'm like, oh, God, still. <laughs> it, I, it'll be I, like that till I, you die. I can't believe, like, I, I didn't know where this, this interview would go. But <laughs> in a million years. It was such a slow start. I'm like, still, my brain is still recovering from the In a million years, weekend. I did not think we'd get to... But, it, is it, is it, it's, but I find it so interesting, though, because <laughs> Marty... Mo no, 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 not, not all that. But, see, I... Like, I haven't paid for the subscription before. Well, you don't need to. It's a 21-day free trial if you want well, to sign up. Well, you know what? Yeah, I was going to give you a free subscription. <laughs> That's what I thought. But, see, I I did. I had no idea that you lads did, like, especially those boys, did that extremity. Oh, I didn't know that either. I had we, no idea. I know you hurt. Like, this you this hurt one's probably a crowd favourite. We uh, <laughs> we solved world hunger. So we were like, oh, there's, oh, there's people overseas cry. Oh, we're starving. We're starving. Mm, yeah, right, oh, mate. <laughs> Like, they get, like, charity, sending them millions of dollars. Oh, we're still starving. Do you know how much a can of corn costs? 50, 80 cents? 50 cents. Yeah. You add the numbers up, how many people are over there, how many money, corn, all that. <laughs> corn. We just ate corn just down the gullet. No chewing. And then shit it out, pick the corn out. It's recyclable. Perfect. Corn goes around like that. You gain the nutrients and it keeps going. So we solved world hunger. So everyone but watching... That, yeah. Yeah. If, if you're hungry, just eat corn. <laughs> well, we, we did have a, over and we over. did have a survivalist come on our show and teach us how you can survive. You know, for 21 days out. What did he say? Corn. She. She said. She? Uh, well, she was more. You know, you hunt your own food and you have to. Oh, boring. No, boring. Oh, I'm just go to Coles of, and get a can of corn. You're right. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, gosh. Well, another one of the the, the, the infamous pranks. That, you know, that really. I don't know. And I'd love you to tell us how much this investment would have been worth. Obviously, you don't give a shit about the AFL up here in, in Brisbane. So to go to the oh, yeah. AFL grand final and potentially get a life ban probably doesn't Well, maybe mean, explain, you know, why that's... So. mean much to you, but what, what... Well, I'll let Julian explain what you guys did, but what I'm interested to know, obviously there was a fine involved and probably, I don't know if it was a life ban from the AFL, what, what it caused, but doing that particular prank that I want you to explain, what did it do for your virality, for your following shit, yeah. for... Um, yeah, that was so the AFL, obviously the grand finals are usually in Melbourne, um, where it should be, not up here. This is footy, real footy, oh, rugby, yeah, yeah. rugby. Nah, but like, um, it was like, <laughs> yeah, guarding behind the camera's loving that. <laughs> it was during uh, the pandemic, and they were like, obviously, Melbourne was still in lockdown or something, so yep. they're like, let's have the AFL grand final at the Gabba in Brisbane. And as soon as I heard that, I was like, boys, we need to streak this, we need to do like, because I've always been telling them, like, we need to have like that, like. 
publicity stunt that just just to project our website, you know? Yep. And um and yeah, so we're like struggling to look we're like looking for tickets and then all of a sudden we just found like pretty much front row tickets and I think they were pretty expensive. Um I can't remember how much they cost, but then like straight away so we had the tickets secured. We were like, okay, we need it like let's think about like the legality of it. Like are we going to get in heaps of trouble because I like we'd heard um We'd heard rumors that like you get pa- fined like seventeen grand mm. for streaking, and then like possible jail time and all that. But then like we were like, oh, let's try and bet on it. So we're like going through every betting agency in Australia, being like, because uh, in America there's dudes who have yeah. won like two hundred and fifty grand by s- betting on like, themselves, betting on themselves to streak. So we're like looking I've, through. I think that's jailable we're, offense. We're, 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 yeah, calling, we're calling bookies being like, what, is there any like streaking odds? And then like wouldn't even like the people over the phone would just hang up straight away. But we're like going to all the small ones looking for it. And we finally found one and we won two mil- – no, I'm kidding. No, but, um, <laughs> but we couldn't find it. We were like, oh, shit. So we – just to try and help pay for the fines or whatever yeah, and sense. make a bit of cash. Makes sense. But um, couldn't find it. And we're like, okay, if we do it nude – they're going to hate it way more. Yeah. And we're, we're probably going to get like, because there's kids there. Like, yeah. save that for the kids for later. But um, at the <laughs> yeah, game, in front of other website. people, we're like, nah, nah, can't do that. So we're like, what about like a mankini? And we're like, it's still in decent exposure because we realised like. And Borat was a very long no, time ago. No, we, we, we were promoting the new Borat. When oh, really? Borat 2 came out, we were promoting the new Borat film and they sent us like, uh, they told us to make a mankini out of. Uh, mask, face mask, because of the pandemic. Oh. So then, like, we've done that and like made mankinis out of it. <laughs> and then um, we <laughs> ran through Chermside, the busy shop, and we ended up getting charged for it because it's still in decent exposure. Yeah. So we were like, we used with these mankinis. Yeah, yeah. So like, still covering, but it's just you know, probably depends on the cop. But then we're like, okay, fire out. Like, we're gonna have to like um, wear clothes. We're like, is there any funny messages we can put? We're like, oh, we don't really want to like seem like we're doing it. It's just a bit cringe if you like save the whales as you're like streaking <laughs> or some shit. Like, but uh, <laughs> stay in school. But stay like, in um, school. But like, don't so we're like, oh, let's put our website and like all our socials on it. Smart. It'll, it'll still be a bit cringe, but like, we're like, without it just seeming like, hey, look at us. We're like, let's have a goal for it. So we're like, let's try and kick a goal Makes at, sense. at the grand final. And then like, so then I'm there and I'm like, obviously I was like, I'm not doing it because I've got, they asked me at the start if I wanted to do it, but I have such an extensive criminal history that I just got off. Like, so I was like, no way am I like risking that and like they're getting fines and I'm like, I'm in prison for six months. Yeah. So I'm like, um, I'm like, I'll just stay. So we like went and bought like supporter gear. I'm in like some tigers. <laughs> Like the the only size left, it was like a extra small, and I'm like wearing a t shirt under it, looking like an absolute gimp. And then like the boys sort of just like bought like trucker caps, and we're like sitting there in the rain in the ponchos, and we were like, we have to do it. And I was like, I was telling mates, I was like, wait, make bets with your mates, being like, I bet someone streaks the first half, uh, the first quarter, sorry. And then finally, like this security guard walked off, and we're like, now, 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 bang, they like. Ran onto the field, both scored six points, and then like what we did. A goal for yeah, those yeah. playing on the <laughs> But then, um, but uh, what's it called? The game was down the other end. Yeah, yeah the play. Right. And then all of a sudden, as soon as they're on, they're like back there, and it's like because usually they don't televise streakers to not encourage yeah, people. Yeah. But it was like all of a sudden, within ten seconds, the play's already where they are and it's on TV and I'm like, oh no, like moves they're... quicker than rugby, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, well, like and then I remember I had to sit there and everybody's like, they came from here and I'm like, who are those John guys? Like acted like I was sort of acting like <laughs> this extra expensive. small oh, Richmond yeah, yeah, turn. No, yeah, no, but it, like I sort of played in like a like <laughs> I sort of do that if we get caught for pranks or something and it's a bit awkward. I'll like hunch my like because I've got like a disabled little brother, so I just think, how do I m- look like him, like like a oh bit of a window licker. So I'll be like, oh, I'll like hunch my, my shoulders forward, drope my arms, and then sort of just like big beady eyes. And and I was just sort of looking at, oh, who are that? They're idiots. They're idiots. 
there he is. Arrest them. Like, and then just like keep repeating myself and all that. Like, oh, and I was like, and then like this one guy's like, yeah, I'm not with them. And then like this lady's like, it's okay, it's okay. Like rubbing my back, like, like sort of making it seem like. Believable. Sh- she's like, oh, I think this guy is. You know, like, <laughs> but like, so then I'm like, I'm like, oh, and I just pretended to have like an anxiety attack and like stood up and just started like shaking and walked off because like s- people around there were angry. Were they? As. Dude, it's just like, think about how like hectic, su- like how hectic of supporters people from like Victoria are. They've like probably just flown up. Like, oh, they would have, oh, no, they were, they were pissed. Weeks. Like yeah. we're, we're, we're big yeah. AFL fans Dude, I, and I, they were pissed. I had mates of mine who like, I've hung out in with hang hung out with in Melbourne plenty of times who messaged me on Facebook and were like, What you think you're funny, you fucking idiot, or that and I was just like, Yeah, right, I toss her. But like, um but yeah, people were angry and I remember going out and I had all the boys' phones on me and as soon as I like got out of the stadium, I like just legged it down the road, went on their Instagram and just posted uh, a pic saying like a story being like video coming soon because I knew that instantly. Everyone's going. Bang. And then it was just like, I think it was the Smart. most story views. Whatever. Yeah, I'm just like yeah. instantly just bang, 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 bang. And then sign-ups on the website. I can't say exactly how much we made, but it was like, whew. I wonder how long it was on the telly for. Like, it was only like, it was like streakers in play, da, da, da. And then it was just like, like 10 two, seconds? Two cut shots, but it was everybody who picked it up. Yeah. And, and since like... Uh, do you remember like during the pandemic how like American sports weren't happening and all the Americans were watching yeah. AFL because yeah. it was the only thing happening at that mm, time? Yeah. So it was like everybody was watching that grand final. That's it was weird. the first one that wasn't oh, at the I MCG. remember that night so clear because we all we have a group chat. Obviously, none of us could be together for the grand final because we're still locked yeah, yeah. away and can't go five kilometers out of your house, right? And I remember the I remember just everyone texting and then we're like, oh, there's streakers and we all find it funny, but no one had any idea who it was. And then yeah, yeah. like two hours later, then suddenly they did you a massive favour. But the news article is actually putting Marty and Michael, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Brisbane comedians or Brisbane pranksters or whatever they were calling you, Marty and Michael. So they actually, I'm like, I wouldn't have thought they would have put light on it. But then yeah, yeah. They're just, they did, man. That was the best You must have been just going cause, ka-ching. Because we, we were like, oh my God. And then like I went and picked them up. So I like Ubered back to mine, got in my car, picked them up from the police station and we were like, we're not going to film the outro for the video at this police station. So we drove to like Fortitude Valley police station just because it looked cooler. Yeah. And they're like, but they were so concerned that they had fucked up the game because they were like, no way do oh, we Oh, the wa-. boys were. Yeah, that, that, they, they waited until it was down the other end. They didn't want to disrupt it at all. They just wanted to get the goal, get the footage, you know, without pissing people off because like you don't – it was so easy to – come out as cringe mm. if just for doing that for a bit of attention. We wanted to make it like fun and not disrupt the game. And they're like, no, did we do this? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like, and then we went back to mine and then all of a sudden we just went to Google Marty and Michael AFL and then just boom, boom, boom. And Everywhere. then we're like filming and like we're, <laughs> we're like filming on the camera being like, oh, no, oh, no. Stop the camera. Yeah, boys, <laughs> we're rich. No, but like we're like – pumped and I was like I can't believe we just did that and then uh, obviously we got like they had notice to appears for it they like hired this like big fancy solicitor and then we went there and combined it was a $750 fine no <gasps> ban so 750 between two of them <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's in- for, and the, the one ticket costs more that's One ticket to the game cost more than the fine for streaking it. And we, we could go back to the Gabba that night if we wanted to. That's insane. Nuts, eh? Because <laughs> I think it's at the MCG or at Marvel. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's like 10K. Just 10, to, 10. Yeah, yeah. Start at 10. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They say it's start. Uh, like, True. It, what, what does it mean? Because they, they say at Suncorp and all that, the exact same sort of stuff. Suncorp, the Gabba, but like. Maybe it's a fear it, tactic. It, but it's all up to the judge, man. Yeah. It's like if. Because they can't. I don't think any stadium can privately fine you. Like mm. You have to go through the cops or the court. But um, yeah. But <laughs> I remember oh, we'll that, get that. some Dr. D t-shirts ready. <laughs> <laughs> but what they did was when they went to court is they wore, wore a uh, double, uh, like a conjoined t-shirt and pants and walked into the courtroom in a conjoined short shirt and pants. And, like, Could you film in there? No, nah, no, we couldn't. But like, and then they were like taking the piss, but we were like, well, we're, we're sweet because of the publicity we got and like all the traction to our website. 
And then all of a sudden, it's just like seven hundred and fifty dollar fine, and we just walked out. We're like, keep walking, just in case it was a mistake. That's crazy. Yeah, I thought there would be a couple bucks. zeros on the end of that. Yeah. yeah, no. So, like, what are I don't know how much you can share, but in terms of like legalities, when you're publicly filming stuff, so we we've done a bit of stuff where I get nothing to that level, but we do a lot of like, like street talk, for example, going up with yeah. roaming mics, asking people stupid questions. We've done it in London. We've done it at AFL in Melbourne, and that kind of thing. Um, but what are your legalities when it comes to pranking or like even when you're getting a reaction? So you see these videos of say Jackson where he does something silly in in like a supermarket or supermarket something. or and, yeah. then, and then you're fil- but you're filming reactions of people. Do you have to go and literally say, oh hey, can we use your face um, or could that zoom in on uh, that? I don't I don't know if uh, no, if, if I not, can really no that's fine. It, it depends. In public, it's free game. That's what like I'm if, so, if, public if, it's okay. if someone comes to you and they're like. I don't want that. Blur the face. But sometimes blurring the face sort of ruins it because, like, mm. most of the time you, you're looking for the... That's that's right. That's what like makes the, the video. The, the facial yeah. expressions. But then sometimes if they're, like, verbal, then you can blur it. Because that's then, like, something we always think about. Because we're like, we're, like, we want to get... if if Because he's done some... <laughs> in, recently he's done some pretty... Well, nothing to that level. But public humiliation stuff. Yeah, yeah. He's walking through a supermarket. He's walking down the street and he's dressed like... He needs uh, some help, and, um, <laughs> like, and 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 we're trying to get like, and we're looking at the people walking past. But yeah. that's a gold. It's them. Yeah, yeah. But we for never, sure. we never. Yeah, know. no. Like, I think it's you... just like if someone says, "Don't use my face," we won't yeah. use it. Like we make it pretty clear after we've done something that we we're filming it because like we're hiding for the thing that happens. Yeah. And then as soon as it happens, we're just like. Blazing as hell, like, <laughs> hey, give us a react. And sometimes you're like behind the camera, <laughs> yeah, so, they, egging so, them on. so they get a bit angry because, like, there'll, there'll be times like we'll, we'll do something and, like, you'll be acting clueless, like, you're like clueless, oh, what? And you're filming it as if you're a bystander trying to catch them on Smart. film, and they're like, oh, oh, oh. But then other times, if they're like aware that you're filming, I'll just be behind the camera going, <laughs> <laughs> so then, like, they're just going, oh, right, get out of here. Like, yeah, like, yeah. So then you egg the reaction up, but then, like, I think. With, with maybe sometimes they'll email and be like, "Can you blur?" And then we'll just like either just block the email or just, <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> no, we'll just um, either take it down and re-upload it, yeah, or just like delete it all together, or just like sometimes uh, like YouTube, you can add blurs to it, yeah. But the thing is now that we're like um, with certain things, we're like part of a program now where we can like submit a new video and it doesn't delete it and change the views and stuff. Oh, so, oh I see. I got you. Yeah. So yeah. like just say we accidentally leaked the address of someone. Gotcha. We can like re-edit it, blur it and then and like, it doesn't take it down. Google it, and be like, hey, we're re-uploading it and then they'll switch it. Oh, that's handy. That is handy. I'd love to hear about uh, surely you boys, especially with whether it's Jackson and, and Shami too. We, you know, you see online and the parties, you lads, it must oh, be yeah. incredible. Dude, Jackson's parties, man. Dude, you should have put vodka in this. We should have. I would have just taken a sip of that without. Oh, I, I don't want to offend you, but Brisbane water. Brisbane, a, yeah, but it's the same fan. everywhere. I, you don't get nah. to, I don't usually actually drink tap water. We like Michael's got. <laughs> uh, mate, this, this is this, this is, is this boss water. This is filtered, yeah. mate. This yeah, is usually beautiful. it's sparkling. No, no, but Michael's got me onto those big. You look like a dork, but those big oh, the, puro the canna- sacks. Oh, they're like sacks. it's like a goon sack, but like it's like cask water, but it's like no fluoride, nothing, and it's like makes any other water taste like. Mm. It's just so tasteless and good. Nice. But yeah. anyway, what were you saying? Well, you, you were, <laughs> like, you oh, were wishing that was vodka. I, 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 yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, I sort of do. I'm fucking, uh, man. I mean, what time is it? Oh, it's it, half past one. <laughs> it's been the most, the worst week <clears throat> ever. Just like, I just wrote my, uh, it was one of those weekends where I had no plans and then 5.30 on a Friday, I was like, Booked out. Oh, let's let's <laughs> just go to the Caxton for a few beers. And then it's like Sunday, 10 a.m. I'm like, I haven't slept. And my dad's here reading me books. Like, <laughs> you know, and I'm like, oh. So then, yeah, my brain stills us. I can't even speak. So brain the parties are crazy. Yeah. Oh, well, mine, yeah. But they're usually by myself crying. <laughs> but um, Jackson, when, when he had the mansion, dude, it was fucking nuts, man. Like, I, I'd never seen it. There was parties at Jackson's. That were ten times better than festivals I'd been to. Like I've had more fun at Jackson's parties than any other party. Ever. Talk us through what what do we dude, what do we what do we like, expect if you, you get on the, well, the Halloween? I remember saying the Halloween the, one. It was crazy. Oh, dude, the Halloween one. I think that was the first one. You rock up and he just had like children just serving thing. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> 
No, but it was just like you walk in and I'm it was just. Like, I'm surprised you have to sign stuff yeah, no, before yeah, these parties. Yeah, no, yeah. Oh, you uh, do? Yeah, I don't even know if I can talk. No, about no. It. And then, yeah, yeah. You, well, you have to sign stuff, but I think it's just like for other people, just you know, if some fucking someone dies, like <laughs> like John Howard was there rock, racking lines up. I'm assuming he doesn't want people knowing that. <laughs> nah, but it was just like classic Johnny. Um, but no, nah, it was just nuts. He just like every corner of the house had something going on. There wasn't like dead space. Like the only dead space was the dance floor, but there was people dancing there. Like you look in one corner, people are getting free tattoos. <laughs> you look in another, there's like a uh, a little person carrying was, like a python. This is Wolf of Wall Street stuff. Yeah. Literally, bro. And then like you go out the back and there's like his tennis court just has like a dude with like those floating, you know, those jet packs? Like yeah. Like oh, yeah, water yeah, jet yeah, yeah. packs oh, on a tennis court. Him just like... Around there and then you're like, oh, look to the right, there's like a bucking bull and then you're like, look to the right, there's a ping pong show happening and like it was just nuts and there was like times when the, like he, he'd get people in, like performers and he was like, every, everybody's phones had to be out of hand and oh, like, oh, I want to be yeah. storing these. Like like I, like we'd be looking at them at, on his uh, CCTV the next couple of days but just like the crazy Footage. shit. Like nothing like... Not like drinking infant blood or nothing. But it's like, <laughs> oh but but it's like, it was like just crazy, like ping pong show sort of vibes. Yeah. But like you're like, I wish I could film this just to show my just to prove it hasn't friends, like, <laughs> yeah, to prove like it friends who wouldn't be invited to such a nice thing like this, so like us. Could, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, like, but then like um, yeah, it was nuts. But then like it was just such a big house and he, he lived there alone and I think he just got like so because like you can't throw those parties ever. and those parties were costing him like a hundred grand Fuck. out of his own like he'd get like sponsors in but they're like oh here's free alcohol for like a quarter of your party you true know? like that because like it was still like B. Oh, I don't think it was BY I think we were good for piss but like um, but then other than that he's got to pay the uh, the little people carrying pythons around the, that we the laid in like targets. <laughs> no, but like you know, he, he's got to pay all of these things, and like it just stacked up. And he was like, "God, I've just spent a hundred grand for a night, and then like you're paying like a couple grand for a cleaner the next day to come in and just be like wipe Shannonol's blood off the <laughs> off the kitchen floor, you know, like." But um, no, but they were wild. But then he just obviously just got sick of every other day, just like living in this big house alone because like he, he's just like he, he'll have people moving in and out but i think he just likes living by himself same with me man like yeah. i i pay a ridiculous amount in rent and like my friends mrs mom will be like you know like you've got like a three bedroom place two bedroom place you could move someone in i'm like fuck that i do too much weird shit on the couch at like <laughs> 6 p.m be living with anybody. <laughs> but like i don't think that's his reasons but like he just likes living alone, so we just like sold the house and like just moved back into his other one. That sounds like such a oh, I just sold the big mansion and just like, moved back into my waterfront one. Yuck. Yeah, I moved back into Marty and Michael's front room yeah, again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. like, but dude, those parties were nuts. And uh, yeah, I don't think I've seen like the the candy mansion ones at that that big tobacco typhoon tycoon. What's the word for it? Like the, the tobacco mogul guy. Yeah. Okay. Like he had the the um. The Candy Mansion, and he was Who like, was that? I can't remember his name, but he's this old, he's like this old playboy looking sort of bloke, <laughs> just like who just owns tobacconist, you know, like he, but like lots of them, and he's just like filthy rich. Yeah, crazy rich. But, but the people who were going to those were just like the cringiest, absolute nobody, like fake follower, 60, desperate. 000, like desperate yeah. chicks who, who would like suck off a dead dog tied to a tree, and if it didn't move, she'd kick it, you know? <laughs> Like Jesus Christ! But then, like Jacksons was like people who you're like, oh, that guy, that oh God, he's finally laughing. I love it. <laughs> yeah, but like, but then like Jacksons, you'd be like, oh, I know that guy from there. Yeah. Like, all of a sudden, like I'm there doing shots with like Bernard Tomic as he's like beating up a little kid or some shit, and I'm like, whoa, like, and it's like, whoa, this is cr- you'd never see this at the at the Candy Mansion. Oh, no. Well, speaking of Bernard Tomic, uh, like in terms of your content, because there's obviously there's clean content and content creators, and they bring in all the corporate, you know, sponsors and the, yeah. and the banks and the yeah, insurance I companies. I don't and get any Probably, of probably not, yeah, probably not <laughs> where, where, where you get your funds from. But in terms of where it's all taken you, I'm not asking for you to share, you know, who's been at these parties and, and drinking infant blood, but um, <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, out of all these people you've met, like 
is, is there some names that you almost pinch yourself and go fuck it? like through all this um all this stuff how nah, about nah? Not, not really just because like before um all this com comedy stuff like i was in the music industry a little yeah, bit okay. like the entertainment industry or like already so then like me and my best mate Josh, who like he films stuff with Marty and Michael with me now, like he yeah. was filming stuff for like huge DJs and we'd like go and liaison. So I was meeting people like Mac Miller, yeah, like all these, well, not anymore because he's dead, but um, <laughs> like all these uh, huge like celebrities yeah. who were playing these massive festivals. Like I was like, uh, like we were at Diplo's after party, la like at the end of last year down in Sydney, all that sort of stuff. Like I met, I've met heaps of cool people before, yeah. so then like. But they're like international superstars, like these people that you'd meet like backstage at the festivals or go yeah. to like the koala sanctuary with while they're in town. Yeah. And then like you get like Shannon Noll rock up and you're like, G'day, mate. How yeah, are you? Yeah, cool. <laughs> Usual you, Shen. You're on a reality show in 2002. Like, it's not that crazy. <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> Hope he doesn't see that. <laughs> no, 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 no. But like, I, I spoke to him like a normal bloke and I had yeah. a mad chat with Shannon Noll. Like, he was like, um, he was like, you got to call your dad right now and tell him you love him. Like, he, we would just have normal chats. But do you get Life what I mean? Like, Does I'm that like, seem normal? Like, no, 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 because no, he was telling me, like, about how he lost his dad. Uh, uh. And then, touch me harder next time. No, 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 but he, how he lost his dad. And he was like, oh, call your dad and tell him you love him. Yeah. And he was just like, being like, just having a good chat with Genuine me. bloke. And it, but it's like, there's nobody really in Australia other than, like, Margot Robbie, Kid Leroy, or, like... Who are stars, you know? Like you could see Carl Stefanovic walk down and be like, hey, Carlos, and he'd be like singing a come in a, for a beer. A, yeah, come in for a beer sort of thing. There's no yeah. celebrities here that would ever That's so true. Like, yeah. but like me, my only pinch myself moment is when I started working with Cursor, because I listened to him heaps when I was growing up. So he was like someone that I looked up to, but mm. still him compared to like um someone from overseas doesn't have that same level of stardom. Yeah, it's different. You know? Yeah. yeah. So it's like um, but yeah, there's never really been pinch. Yeah, but like there is moments when you're like, it's so weird that I'm like FaceTiming my dad with Shannon Noll right now. Yeah, like that is pretty cool. It is cool, but then like, yeah, I think I just got conditioned to it a lot earlier. Mm. But that, but there is some people that you wouldn't expect me to bug out about, like just like yeah. certain comedians. It's people I look up to. Yeah, not like A-listers. Yeah. You know? Well, I think we're kind of coming towards the end. I got the little, uh, got the little uh, the thumbs nod. up from Garney. But uh, can you t maybe tell, talk a bit of the, about the stand up, the tour oh, coming yeah. up? So uh, um, let, let's try and sell some tickets here. Yeah, Come on. yeah. Well, I've got a, I've got a tour starting next year around February and March called Make Dark Humor Great Again. Obviously, can't speak about any of the stuff that <laughs> on <laughs> no, here. No, no, otherwise, yeah. this podcast would be history. But um, no, nah, it's lots of fun. I've just been like practicing it for the last year, just like trialing stuff every like a couple times a week to hor horrified onlookers <laughs> who are not prepared for that because they'll be listening to like a 40 year old talk about how jet stars better than virgin and then I'll be up and be like, ah, let's talk about fat people. Like, you know, um, but yeah, just doing the stand up. So just like go check my Instagram for all updates on that. Um, we'll, we'll go to Melbourne, definitely. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll be doing Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne. I want to do Hobart because I got like, I don't know. I think those people love that sort of stuff. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> and then probably uh, Cairns and Adelaide. You're just spitting facts in those. Yeah, I think I'm just doing down this side. I'll leave Perth for when I'm yeah, yeah. I'd, Yuck. Yeah. <laughs> I could fly to Bali in the same amount of time I could fly to Perth, you know? Yeah. It's funny because it's true. It, yeah. It's nuts. I, I want to ask you a, a semi-serious question because you did mm. say something off air to us, which I, which genuinely, like, it, I'm, it's, it's quite inspiring to, like, people in the industry or people that are trying to get to kind of a level that you've got to. But you said that you've kind of had, I don't know if you've written these out, but goals of where you kind of want to be by a certain oh, age yeah. in, well, in, in your content my, creation. My, my, I've got a whiteboard at home and, like, I've got a big one that has like the whole plan, but then each year I'll wipe that whiteboard down, uh, like a different whiteboard down and write goals. And like at the moment I've ticked off a bunch. There's stuff that like I don't think I need to tick off, but like my long-term goal is to be the biggest stand-up comedian out of Australia by the time I'm 30. And I haven't even had my first proper shows yet. Love but that. like, but the funny thing is like when I'm doing stand-up at these like little clubs or like just like open mic formats, um, there'll be comedians there who could be funnier, ge generically funnier than me, like in a broad sense and have been doing it for like 20 years. But they'll be 
performing to 20 people for the rest of their life. When I do my first show next year, I'll be doing it to hundreds of people off the get-go, you know? So I've already, like, I've had this game plan where I'm just pumping the socials, bringing people around here. Like, I haven't even uploaded stand-up clips to socials yet. It's just all doing the dark jokes, getting them peppered up for that sort of humour. And then I'll start rolling out all the stand-up clips. People will be like, oh, bang, bang, bang. Like, Mm. you obviously have to have a roadmap for it. And then... Once that's all there, then drop the tour. Like I've got a mar- like a marketing and advertising thing ready for it, and then I'll just do the important cities that matter, and I won't do Perth. <laughs> <laughs> it's Perth. But <laughs> looking like, forward to Melbourne. That'll yeah, be good. Man, I can't wait for that. Uh, but I'm like I'm genuinely interested too. Like, and again, like we we joke about dark humor, but and again, a lot of people. You don't want to laugh. Oh, sorry, well, we're ingrained that you shouldn't laugh, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, personally, I find it hilarious because yeah, yeah. It, but, that, but that's the thing about dark humor, man. Like, there's well, with humor, I've got to take the time to tell the joke. It yeah. you've got to take the time to decide whether you're offended or not. Yeah, you have to decide that because I could be like, oh, they, oh. like I, I, I could say something like. Oh, they say Steve Irwin loved crocodiles the most. I reckon he had a special place in his heart for stingrays, though. Like, and people would be like, oh, you can't talk about Steve. Oh, and then, like, I could say something like, oh, why doesn't God like ice cream? Oh, no. Because he doesn't exist. And that's like, because that's, but they're like two different things. You'd be like, yeah. oh, that God one's lame. And you'd be like, oh, that's Steve. Well, we were funny. both brought up in uh, the Christian and yeah, Catholic. So, so, so I'm a Catholic. <laughs> my, my full name is Julian Tennyson Woods is six. My great 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 uncle is probably the most famous Catholic priest in Australia. Do you know? Who, do you know who Mary MacKillop is? Yeah, she started the St Joseph Sisters with Father Julian Tennyson Woods. Wow, that's why my stage name's Julian Woods because his name comes up before mine on Google. <laughs> <laughs> but like, next time we have him on the show, we'll just talk about the Catholic yeah. race. <laughs> <laughs> no, but do you get what I mean? There's two different yeah, things. No, I, I could say something really outrageous like that. But then I can defend it and be like, obviously it's a joke, da da da, or like I don't really think like this way. You can protect jokes from all angles. Yeah. Well, Whereas, and like, that's but the then thing. I could say something lame like, why doesn't God like ice cream? And you'd be like, that's oh, a bit boring. But then there'd be like hectic Catholics out there being, he does exist. Yeah. Like, like really offended. There's two <laughs> different levels to it. But, like, but see, one of like one of our favorites of all time is Ricky Gervais. Like we, he we, is uh, my favorite. He is yeah. my number one favorite. And. He and, explains it perfectly. Exactly, being he explains it. And, and the thing that, but the thing that I love about what he does too is he always says it's like, it's like the people that piss him off the most are the people that, like he's like I'm going to offend everybody. I'm going to offend left wing, right wing, men, mm. women, older, younger. I'm going to have a go. At, like you're going to think I'm this, and I'm going to think of that. But it's like you can laugh all you want at everybody else's expense. But as soon as I, because at some point I'm going to land a joke on you that's yeah, going to yeah, hit yeah. you, whether it's religion or whether it's politics. But if you if you, that's where you draw the line, then yeah, and how that, dare you laugh at hypocritical I, laugh at everybody that's else? That's how yeah. I sort of formulated it because I used to go to comedy shows and laugh at everything. They'd yeah. be like, "Oh, kids, uh, like, ah, like," but then they'd be like, "Oh, autistic," and then I'd get like triggered because my little brother's disabled. Yeah. But then now I'm like, now half of my material's making fun of him, <laughs> you know. But like I, I, but then that's what sort of like twisted the things for me. And then like even listening to Ricky, I'd be like. What am I getting offended at that for? Like, who cares? Unless they were like, Oi, Julian, your brother who's disabled is yeah. funny because he's like that. Like, I'd be like, okay, because that's like that's, direct that's attack. personal attack. You know? <clears throat> but then like in the whole – it's just like your mindset on it. And it's just like if, you, you, if you're going to comedy shows and getting offended, your brain is not fit for comedy. Mm. But, but comedy like, is like the last – platform probably left it, but do you think do you think it will eventually switch around where we could be a bit more open to joke and laugh dude, or do you reckon dude, we're it, gone it, like no like history repeats itself like i think like you remember the chases did you ever see that show like in no, 2000 and like no. four or five no chases were, is a uh, is a quiz show on channel seven no, <laughs> no, yeah, the, chase, the, chase. the chase sorry no, but, um, the chases <laughs> wore on everything they were like dressing oh up yes as, like, osama yes, bin Laden yes and, like, i do know them attacking yeah. that was like mtv i think i do no, that was on abc it was oh, on abc right. and then like chris lilly like he was like yeah, yeah. i used to love chris lilly they're cancelling him now i know and it's just like but then what happens is everybody will restrict something and it's just like freedom when it came to the pandemic. Everybody's like, yes, 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 obliging. And then like all of a sudden they're like, this is too much. And now it's like the opposite. If they ever tried to pull that again, people would be like, hmm, no yeah. chance. Yeah. It's the same with like censoring people. People will be like, oh, 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 oh women have penises. Da, da, da. And then all of a sudden it'll be like, you know what, this is too much. And then bang. So my thing, especially the whole, um, the term make dark humor great again, 
um, is this like you just got to – people think it's gone, but you just need pioneers and people who have the balls to stand up and – put it in your face. Cause like, look at those dark humor TikToks I did. Like people yeah. are like, Oh no, like, like your TikTok's just been like people impersonating school teachers for the past two years, you know, like every second thing, it'll just be like someone dressed as like a Woolies checkout yeah. chick or something. And it's that so was true. the trend. And then I'm here being like, do this to kids. No, but like, you know, like, yeah, just, yeah. and then they like outperforming everybody else's and everybody's going, oh, it, oh bring back dark humor and stuff. And then well, like, there's a reason. Yeah. And then that, there's a reason why Ricky Gervais has the highest selling uh, live show in the world and it is the most watched stand up special because he's speaking real shit. Mm. The majority is still all there. It's not like Pauline Hansen being like, oh, the majority listens to me. And then she's like doing racist shit <laughs> in parliament. It's not like that. Yeah. Mm. But it's like Ricky Gervais, like Jimmy Carr. You, yeah, you, I love Jimmy Carter. You wonder too. why yeah. all, all the dark comedians are the ones selling the most tickets because everybody likes hearing that. It's just the <clears throat> mainstream. It's just like I'd love to get on Thank God You're Here, the TV show. I would never – I know I'd be ten times funnier and I wouldn't be in there being like, oh, look, oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like touch kids, nothing like that. Like, But they would just like assume that that's just all it is. It was what? like I was meant to be on Big Brother last year. Oh, really? And then like just before they kicked me off because they were like – too Ch risky. Ch Channel 7 thinks you're too risky. And I'm like, the only headlines that would be about me is saying that I won the fucking thing, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, well, it's it's and just my last point on this too and, and is because I, I went to America 2019, like just traveled around. I went to a lot of stand-up comedy, right? Yeah. Random ones. Chicago. Um, Dude, that's my uh, dream, man. But to, uh, Austin, like round to random. And mate, honestly, I probably, I went to three, four, five shows. I can't remember. Probably five shows. I reckon I laughed once because it was just the most unfunny bullshit. Yeah, dude, it's just woke political, comedy, bro. Woke comedy, right? And I'm like, and, and, and people around me, they're all kind of laughing, clapping and it's, oh, I don't want, but I'm like, it's just not funny. Yeah, like, yeah. There's, just it, no, there's nothing funny about yeah, it. Like yeah. what, like what you, it's like you're here to push a political message. That's fine, but Oh, I saw I'm here to freaking be entertained and I laugh. said hello to a pigeon the other day. <laughs> Can you believe that? I was talking to a bird. <laughs> and then yeah, I, I get up and uh, I'm just like, oh, yeah, I know. fucking. And, 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 like, and, I, and I get the – I understand why people offend it, but I – in, you know, yeah, in a, I think it'll be a resurgence, bro. I don't think I don't think it'll last like this for ages. I think it'll come back stronger than what it was because people will be like, uh, and then money will start – like big platforms will start losing money – because like like TV and stuff will start yeah. losing money because they're like no one's watching nobody's watching <laughs> yeah. us. What are they watching? Oh, Ricky Gervais on Netflix. Oh, Chris Lilly's doing well on Stan or whatever. Like, oh my god! Like, and then that's when they'll start mm. pumping it in. It's just like Arnie Donna. They just like had um, the coffee cafe or whatever it was called on ABC, and they would have had more viewers. ABC, iNet, and all that would have had way more viewers on that. But then you've got all these like elderly people being like, this is disgusting. And yeah. it's like, shut up. Mm. What makes money? S shit that's funny. Yeah. yeah. That rhymed. Trademarked. <laughs> Trademarked. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, um, oh, oh, God. Right. but yeah, no, I, I think it'll come Well, I, honestly, it's, it's good to hear you talk about yeah. that too. Because I think I think for people that got this far through the podcast and didn't, and didn't turn it off in the first five minutes, this <laughs> is just after, after about the eighth shit joke. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's uh, so annoying it's that it, it flowed like this yeah. now because at the start I was just like, I was walking down the street like a zombie and <laughs> I was like, I'm, oh, God. No, yeah. but but it's good, it's to, good it, to I like to hear, I'll, I'll, and we've had a few people that are, either comics or aspiring comics or the big content creators and just talk a little bit I more. I thought you said Bitcoin content creators <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> we have did we dabble in that at all? We, we, we did do that back in the personal development days of the show. Oh, we did, How to make the most out of your crypto going through this cringe. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, but mate, no, honestly, thank you because um, appreciate you giving us some time today and coming no, on and having a laugh with us. And you're probably, you've motivated us, like even more. I'm just like, yeah. I look at people like you and I'm just like, you know, you're, you're an aspiration to a lot of us. So. Oh, cheers. Uh, mate, thanks legend. for coming on and making the time. Go watch live comedy. If yes. it's mine or anybody else's or just follow them, that's all that matters. Just following a stand-up comedian, the follow the follows is what gets them booked and gets them more money. So mm. just follow. You know, you can fucking mute them. You can do anything. Just fucking follow it. So if you're one of the 26 people that saw that, please go. <laughs> <laughs> please follow me. <laughs> Followers over family, please. I need it to eat. <laughs> <laughs> but he needs to eat corn, that's for sure. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Julian. Uh, thanks, mate. Uh, stay positive, test negative, eh? Yeah, love it. <laughs>